This is an okay opening hand. I wish I had one fast land or one pain land, <clears throat> but we're going to roll with it even on the draw. I feel like every other game that I play in standard ranked lately is War Leader's Call. Boros, Convoke. And at least half the time they have a Novice inspe Inspector in the opening hand. So, let's see. We're more likely to have need of red. I guess I could have made the argument to place uh, Storm Park Coast, that would give us both red and blue, plus the planes on turn two. Lethal Demolition is a, a great turn two play for them, especially if they can now uh, Convoke out. I feel like this is such a common, yeah, Knight Errant. I feel like I've, I've seen this exact sequence so often that it, it boggles my mind because you need three different cards <laughs> uh, in those early hands. Not a lot we can do here. I think I'm going to play out a Bloodthirsty Adversary just to, I don't know, maybe stymie some attacks. If they just land War Leader's Call, we probably are dead already. Born in the Inner Sky, definitely bad for us. It would be, it'd be great if we had play with fire in response. Just the scry ability uh, uh, helps them get where they want to go pretty quick. Of course, it was if it was on top of their deck to begin with, not a lot we can do. We're just going to keep playing cards out. <clears throat> we don't have any meaningful interaction against Knight Errant or Warden of the Inner Sky. I'm a little surprised they didn't just go all out there with everybody rather than pumping the Warden. We're not getting a lot of help from the top of our deck. <clears throat> and unfortunately, at this point, like Narset is, isn't especially useful. I think I might prefer to just have play with fire. Hmm. I don't know. This is a deck that really wants to be a, an aggressor, and we're so far behind that we're going to need help from the top of our deck. Such that... I think Narset is fine, if we're not just straight up dead. There are a lot of cards on top of our opponent's deck. Or that could be on top of our opponent's deck that just have a straight up dead uh, War Leader's Call. Guy that gives everybody haste and plus one plus zero. So let's see, we're taking six in the sky regardless. We could double block a Knight Errant. We could go to one, <laughs> block these other guys. 
Well, actually, we can't do that. Uh, we should be blocking the one twos. Monastery Mentor is a little too little, too late. We don't even have anything in the bin that we can bloodthirsty adversary, so I shall... <laughs> we'll do what we can. <laughs> I guess I could have played Monastery Mentor first. Uh, so it would get, gives everybody like double prowess, it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Mistakes were made. Oh, I forgot I can cast their their cards, too. This is something important to note with Narset. Uh, I keep being su surprised by that every time I see it. I'm like, oh, no. Um, not going to do a whole lot of good here, but... We have a lot of prowess triggers. Oh man, Angel Fire Ignition would be quite nice. Alas, just a little too late. GG's. Not a great start to Narset. My win rate against Boros overall has been great. Here we are, di Diamond Tier 3. We got lucky in that we didn't get notched down. Uh, most of my bruises lately have been playing at the bottom of uh, Tier 4. I just keep brewing a bunch of 50-50 jank. At best, some of the uh, recent jank brews have been less than 50% win rate. So Hanging out around the bottom of Diamond. Usually I try to by the middle of... The season today is the the 16th of february i, I usually try to uh, rank to mythic with some deck that's not not as janky um but i've been having so much fun brewing with the new sets and old cards that i hadn't got around to last season this is a little bit of a painful opening hand but we've got action and we're a land or two away from things being good so we're gonna try to get lucky Another Storm Seeker is not what we want. Another Soul Partition, also not what we want. This is a place where Malcolm feels reasonably good, in that if we don't draw the land on the next turn, we get a loot. Spelunking. I have no idea what to expect, but it looks janky, so we have to give it some love. We are... We're playing against a bunch of caves. Okay, so we didn't get there. I'm inclined to, I don't know what we're up against here. I'm inclined to, however, just like slam out a bloodthirsty adversary. Just get in, get in some damage. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna dump a soul partition even though I don't know what we're up against. I'm not certain if that's right. Alternatively, we could dump a Storm Seeker, but source, uh, Soul Partition can be recast by a handful of our cards, whereas Reckless Storm Seeker in the yard does us absolutely no good whatsoever. We have no way to bring back creatures. Okay, so Sunfall is not what I wanted to see there, but kind of glad we didn't dump the Storm Seeker. Um, so the question is, do we, do we play Narset, or do we play a Storm Seeker? And I'm gonna hope that we draw a land next turn and just go ahead and play Narset. <clears throat> Such that we could Soul Partition or Lightning Helix and attack with a Storm Seeker. Worst case scenario, we have a Soul, soul Partition in the graveyard. So as long as Narset survives uh, to the point where she attacks, we would be able to cast it. I don't love casting it on this board. I guess I'd probably target this little incubator token. Because <laughs> at least it can't be recast. But okay, so we didn't get there with the land. Um, in which case, probably just going to slam Stormseeker. Seeker. 
We don't need to pump Narset. We're going to cast this despite it not being like the most optimal. <clears throat> because we want to remove the blocker and we want the prowess triggers. Sure. Surge of Salvation. I think we're going to get blown up again. There we go. Now, still really glad that we didn't dump the Stormseeker, because we're going to need it. All right, there's the land. Uh, so we're going to run out Stormseeker. Bash. Feel a little bit behind, but I still have no idea what my opponent's payoffs are. Up the beanstalk. Not a thing we want to be soul partitioning. We're probably going to lightning helix or lightning strike to the dome here. If we don't see anything worth soul partitioning. <clears throat> I don't know which is correct. Lightning strike or lightning helix. But I'd rather they not know about helix, I guess, comparatively. I don't hate having Fading Hope. This is a, a case for possibly wanting a Restless Land, although I'm not sure I would use it here. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna Fading Hope this. I think. I mean, I want I want the uh, Scry uh, trigger. Um, a lot of what they've played so far, I don't want a Soul Partition. So I don't love having that remaining in hand, whereas like a fading hope against, let's see, Malcolm I think is fine. It's at least another threat, meaning if they remove my existing threat, I got nothing left. So we'll take Malcolm here. Okay. Sunfall is not the greatest for us. I hope they don't have any caves left. I really, I really don't want them gaining four life here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and helix. <clears throat> so we, all, we have a lot of potentially lethal threats, assuming they don't spelunk some more. That guy has reach, which is pretty annoying for Malcolm. So we may end up soul partitioning it. <clears throat> End of turn. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying because, well, we're going to do it anyway. You give him another card off of up the beanstalk, but I just I want the loot trigger. Like if we if we can get any uh, three mana burn spell as of right now, they're dead. One one. Okay, didn't get there. Draw a discard, and we got there. Validation for Malcolm. We'll take it. One and one. <clears throat> 